So tomorrow, uh, Christina Check is gonna come over. I had lost my uh, blue microphone. That's not a blue microphone. It's just the color blue, color metallic blue. Um, right now, I'm headed to the shrink and uh, get my head shrunk. So I'm on a road called 78. And uh, I'm a little late. <laughs> I'm not, uh, well, what happened was, it was quite early, 27 minutes. I was quite early, uh, and then what happened was, wait a minute, oh, SWBR, 27 minutes, yeah, that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> Going in late today, because I gotta go to the shrink. Wait a minute. I think, wait a minute. What's on my schedule? Uh, probably needs my phone to work. Well, I might be sitting in the parking lot for a while because I have a feeling that my appointment might be for an hour later than I thought it was. I'm talking today because uh, yesterday I thought, hey, I'm going to go out and maybe get a bag of potato chips, you know, some crisps, like a snack, and maybe a, maybe a soda or a iced tea mix or something. And then I noticed that I'm going to have a hard time to... <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time to make mortgage this month. I always feel that way and then I make it. But this time, uh, it's a little bit different with this. Jesus Christ, getting your wages cut in half for your main client. That's a lot, that's a lot. And uh, Sue, Sue Min, Min Sue was very, very practical. She always says, she, if she wants something, she might wait like a year to get it because she'll save up to get the best. Uh, and if she likes something, she makes sure she likes something. And uh, that's a really good thing if you if you have a second language, which we don't talk about that. But if you think about spending your money or buying things in a second language if you know a second language it will it assist in making better decisions that's why I don't have a second language obviously so uh, you know I was like well I can't even fucking afford to go out and, and get like a, a, a bag of Chris or some crackers or like anything uh, tasteless like that bland and tasteless and um, well it doesn't matter my uh, but just so you know because I'm sure you care about this my Rite Aid doesn't have a very good pretzel selection which Min Su thinks is completely tasteless Not, not big fan of pretzels in uh, parts of Asia, I guess. Unless it's the soft pretzels. Boy, she loves the Annie, or as she calls it, the Walmart soft pretzels. I forget how to set my fucking cruise control. Uh, you know what? Uh, life is, to me, life is the nocebo effect. Life is my nocebo pill. I can hit my resume. Resume. Uh, it's slow traveling on 78. 78 is where most people in the Lehigh Valley get murdered, get killed from traffic. It's usually a big semi that forces them off the road. I got a little bit of shaking going on 
and as you know I replaced my my uh, spark plugs so just now I had to stop I had to stop at the Turkey Hill and buy some more fuel injection cleaner now at this point my gas tank is half fuel injection cleaner and half gasoline petrol. <laughs> like people from other countries don't know what petrol or potato chips mean. Um, so there's no error codes for this car vehicle, so that's still good. Um, and I've been traveling 42 miles since my last error side load there. That's what he said that she said, which she didn't, but wishes that she did. So to recap, I'm fucked, but uh, hopefully going to record some milkshake shit tomorrow. If I can't, oh, I got to take my mom shopping tomorrow. I'll try to get that in early. And, oh, wait a minute. I can't take her shopping. I'm not going to have a fucking car. Because I'm dropping my car off at the at the uh, garage today because I have to get my car inspected. And hence, while I'm running on fuel injection cleaner, because if there's one teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny little error code, especially something like um, a misfire on cylinder six... They're not going to pass it. Uh, and then I'll probably have to replace my fuel injector. At least the right, at least the right rail where cylinder six is. Which, even if I get a refurb, is still like $80. And then I got to rip my engine pretty much down to the base. To do everything except pull the engine block out. Uh, not really, but... I do have to remove just tons of shit, which I feel very comfortable doing now since I did something as simple as changing your spark plugs, because changing your spark plugs in this vehicle, a uh, 1999 Toyota 4Runner uh, V8, is not like changing the spark plug on your lawnmower, where you're looking at your lawnmower and a... And, and right there's a spark plug sticking out the side of the mower and you, <laughs> you take the plastic off and, sh and screw a new one in. You gotta really uh, dig through some shit. So, now I gotta call my mom and tell her that I can't take her shopping. I wish this garage would lend you a car, but this garage is... Uh, incredibly inexpensive compared to my last garage. They have told me that they would drive me home, but I need to walk, so uh, I'm gonna be walking. Usually what I do is I take my bicycle, shove it in the back, and I even take all my shit out the back. You know, who cares? There are a bunch of people in fucking oily clothes. Um, This is the process now it's called panic. So uh, another microphone came in the mail, of course, on credit from my. But but here's the great thing is that I had so much. Are you still waiting? Waiting? Are you still waiting the doctor? Uh, no, I'm still not waiting the doctor. But if you call me now, uh, it will hang up. On, it will stop this recording. And basically, I can stop it now. So I want to test out the microphone. Hopefully, I'll do a Wiggly's Book Club or um, something on the microphone tonight if I can have opportunity. <clears throat> because I want to make sure it's good for tomorrow. Now, this is a microphone I did a lot of research on. And uh, because I had $60 credit, uh, like uh, free monies, you know, free. You know, you get cash back on your some of your credit cards. So I had sixty dollars cash back on my Best Buy, so the hundred dollar mic cost me forty on my credit card. 
and uh, I got it I got it a week early but basically I just set it up and haven't had an opportunity to, to test it Kim F and Chiz I can't get the G Suite help about four or five minutes late for my fucking appointment unless I'm an hour early. Which I think I might be an hour early. Which is good for the both things. But I won't be able to tell till I stop recording. So <clears throat> basically I had to stop and I had to pay money for the nine dollars of fuel injection cleaner. But I need to have zero error codes tomorrow. And I might fail the bounce check, which is the check on your rear shock absorbers. The rear shock absorbers show as shot. But fortunately for the last two years, um, it's passed the bounce test. So like I said, my garage is, is, uh, is a good, is a, like a family owned smaller garage. They're not a type of place that just kicks the tires and gives you the, the pass on inspection. They can't anymore, you can't anymore. It's all electronic and you can't really cheat. Or else you go to jail and shit. Because it's easy to catch now. <clears throat> anyway, um, hopefully this came through uh, 12 minutes. I think I explained everything I needed to. Uh, this microphone is supposed to be very good for female vocals, especially because it has a nice low end uh, that thickens out female vocals. Female vocals, <coughs> you have to record at least twice to get a nice, uh, well, you get a beautiful sound no matter what. So I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna double the vocals. Even if it's the same phrase, even if it's the same tone. Um, and then I usually record a harmony because uh, Christina Check is fantastic with harmony. Voice like an angel. <sighs> Things need to, like, um, I need a fucking mirror. Which I'm trying to get. I'm trying to set up things for that miracle to come. So let me get back to my tech client. This is what happens. When, you know, I showed everybody. Uh, anyway, it went off without a hitch on Friday. Just to let you know, everything went far more um, easy than I had uh, expected. I have one person that is semi-technological at at uh, this uh, medical facility and uh, she helped me immensely gave her instructions and boom 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 I don't think I finished telling you my workload so for the day of the transition where I was on site it went from 8 a.m. until uh, 12 p.m. and then it which is no big deal. But then the night before was from 7.30 p.m. until actually 3, 3 a.m. Uh, and for me, you know, from 3 to, three, if I could get to sleep at 3, 3 to 7.30, uh, for, actually it was more like four hours sleep. Um, after all that work, and after actually I worked a full day, uh, well, half a day at, at uh, SWBR, the advertising agency. So after the full days of work and then not stopping to work and then the, um, only several hours of sleep uh, and then work 
the next early morning time it's rough on a 53 year old when I was you know in my 20s and 30s and even 40s it wasn't a problem but nowadays it's uh, it has a toll okay everybody bye love you peace love and understanding bye